Okay, this is my uh, walking horse gelding. Uh, Ed's rainy day. I call him Rain. Uh, I'm Ed. I had uh, somebody make a comment in my in the videos and said I should have a story time when I'm on the horse and tell because I probably got some good stories. And I do. I have one. I, I, I've got some. I thought that's a pretty good idea. Um, so I'll start telling you the story. This is, um, this is, it's not horse related at all, actually. It's, um, years, years ago we went, my friend who's, uh, who's a big time sailor, you know, likes, likes to sail boats and stuff, uh, called me up and, and wanted to know if I'd be interested in my, my two boys going on a, on a sailing. We'd, we'd uh, charter a, uh, a catamaran and uh, we'd hire a captain and we'd get, uh, we'd do the sailing thing and we'd get certified as, you know, captains to sail, right? I thought it was a great idea. So my, my, my boys who were, uh, oh, I don't know the age, I think, I think Henry might've been in his late teens, but they might've been both been in their twenties. I can't remember exactly. I think it was getting, I know, I know, I think Henry might have been just getting 20 or something like that. Anyhow, so we get, we get all down there and everything, and it was fun. But we, you know, we get the, the boat all loaded up with all our provisions, and everybody gets on and everything. We meet the captain, and, and we're going to, uh, we were just motoring. We were in Fort Lauderdale, and we're motoring uh, uh, to Miami. Okay, and then we were going to, go from there across the, the Gulf Stream, okay? And I didn't know this either until until then. I mean, I was, he was explaining to me, but you might, if, you're, if you've been a boater, you might know this, but if you don't, you won't know it. But anyhow, the, the Gulf Stream is, is, can be, can be really rough to, 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 to cross, okay? And we were, uh, so we, we, I don't know, we got there in the afternoon. Uh, we're motoring down to Miami. By the time we get to Miami, it's dark, you know, and we're gonna head out on, we're gonna head out uh, across the Gulf Stream because we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to the Bimini, go to Bimini, which is uh, one of the Bahamian Islands. And uh, so, and maybe I'll put some pictures in here. I think I have some pictures. But anyhow, so we were gonna go we're going to go to, to Bimini, and, and we had to, one of the things, in order to get certified, I got my left leg on, to get certified is we had to do a night sail where we did shifts, you know? And, uh, all right, I'm going to stop and, whoa, so, so anyhow, um, we were going to do shifts, right? So I had like the, oh, I think I had the two o'clock shift, two to five in the morning or something like that, right? And everyone, they got, we got divided up, and I forget how many there was, but there was a few of us on each, or a couple of us on, on each ship, shift, okay? And uh, so, and I, I should have set my alarm on my phone, I just didn't. And I, so I kept waking up, right? And I'm down in my cab, and I kept waking up every like 20 minutes and check my phone, my watch and stuff, right? Like I said, I should have set an alarm, I would have slept good. So anyhow, it, it turns out we end up having 12 foot swells, okay? I mean, 12 feet, that's pretty darn big, right? And so we have these huge swells and um, I, I, my, I, I look at my, my, my phone and it's like, it's like 10, to, 10 to two and my shift's gonna start, right? So I go, okay. So I go up there and I go, well, I'm here to relieve you guys, you know, and there, all the other guys were sitting up there. Like the, the catamaran has, you know, the deck level where the, where the, I guess like pontoons are or whatever. And then it had the, the galley and the living area. And then on top of that was another seating area where you, like a pilot house, okay? So like three, three layers. And um, I go up to the top and everybody's up there. I mean, and, and, and I said, well, I'm here to relieve. And, and they look at me and they said, None of us are, none of us are, are going, are leaving. They were all, they were all seasick. And I don't know if you've 
been on a boat or not, like, I didn't know if I was going to get seasick, right? And, you know, because it's bad, right, if you do. But anyhow, I, I wasn't seasick at all. So I'm up there, and they're, they look all just gray and pasty and everything. And I said, like I said, as I'm here to relieve, and they said, no, we're, we're, none of us are leaving. We're so seasick. And I said, oh, would you like me to go get you some ginger snaps, you know? So they said, yeah. So I, I went, I'm, I'm going down, and I'm, you know, hanging on to the, the things. And we're like going, we're going up a, a 12 foot swell, down, boosh, right? And, and, uh, so I come up and I'm trying to, you know, and there's spray all over the place. I'm trying to keep the ginger snap, which is a cookie, which ginger can kind of help you if you, if you get seasick, you know. So uh, I come up there with, with that and I'm giving there just nibbling on them and everything. And all of a sudden, you know, we go up one of these, these huge swells and we go down. Oh, no, I take that back. What happened is, is that I was riding up there with them for a while and I said, hey, do you want me to get you guys dramming me? You know, and they said, oh yeah, please. You know, cause none of them could even go down in the galley or anything. Cause they'd go down there and they just want to puke, right? So I was swinging down there. I get the dram me to come up, right? And I sit down and I'm, I'm, un, I'm, you know, taking it out of the wrappers and, you know, getting the pills and stuff for them. And, oh, and, uh, hold on a second, buddy. Anyhow, so, I guess checking back. Okay, so anyhow, uh, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm unwrapping these things, and we go up this huge swell, and I look, and we start going down the swell, and I'm like, oh no, you know, and we, I, that thing had to be like 12 or 14 feet tall or something, and we nose dived into that, the, the bottom of the swell, and whoosh, right, this humongous wall of water went over the boat, all the way over us, it just, it was like being on like a, uh, one of those log rides or something at an amusement park where you just get freaking drenched, you know? So this whole thing just comes kaboosh, and I, and I covered all the pills, you know? And we just were like, I mean, just soaked, I mean, to the bone, right? And then I, um, I, got, their, uh, I got their pills and divvied them out. And the captain, uh, he, was, he was sleeping on the back, you know, he was fine. So I never got, I never got uh, seasick. One of the guys was so bad, he was going to fly out. He goes, I can't, I feel like I'm going to die. He was so bad. But then he got, he got kind of over it. But I mean, he was, he was like in such miserable shape. But I never got, uh, I never got seasick. But that's a, that's a story for you. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comments below. Check out our cool, uh, designs i've got to cut some cool graphics designs that uh, are i like them it's it says uh some of my best friends are horses and it's really kind of cool picture of two horses smiling and kind of like laughing happy eyes and everything you know check it out let me know what you think about that too i appreciate it uh, have a good one should people subscribe they should. <laughs> hey, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.